Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to understand how to install GeoServer binary on Ubuntu using just terminal. This video will come really handy when you are accessing a server side machine where you want to install GeoServer and all you have is access to the machine using SSH or putty or something like that. In this video, I'm going to start by creating an AWS EC2 instance and then we will go all the way up to accessing the geo server via the URL via the IP of that EC2 instance. So make sure that before moving forward, you have a working AWS account. So let me just head over to AWS account and sign up using my credentials. And since I'm already logged in, you can see that uh, I don't need to put my password again. Make sure that you are in the correct zone. So for me, it can be Mumbai or it can be anything else that will not matter right now. And then search for EC2. I will be following all the steps in the blog that I have written that you can find on this link. I will go to instances and I will launch a new instance. Here I can search for Ubuntu and I will select Ubuntu 18.04. You can also select 20.04 that will not matter. Here make sure that you are in the free tire eligible uh, instance and then we can click on the next. We'll keep the configuration for instance as it is. Storage is fine as well. The tags are fine as well. The only thing that we need to do is work on the configure security group. Here we will have to add the ports which we want to access later from the outside world as well. So those ports can be 8080 which is a default port for GeoServer. So I can write it like that. GeoServer default port. And we can also add the Postgres if we need to save our data uh, in database. There we go. You can rename if you want. I'll, I'm going to keep it as it is and then review and launch. Here make sure that you create a new pair and this is very important. You have to be sure that you have this PEM file with you Otherwise the instance will be locked and then you will never be able to access the instance again. So make sure that you save this file uh, securely. So I will give it a name AWS Geo and I will download the key pair. There we go. And I will launch the instance. Amazon will take a couple of minutes to create this instance. Meanwhile, you can check the progress here. When you click here, you can see that it is still pending. Once we have running written over here, we can go ahead and launch. All right, now that we have the instance running, we will connect this instance. In order to connect the instance, we first have to be sure that uh, our key is added. So what you have to do is open the terminal and then head over to the folder where you have the key. So for me, it is in downloads and then simply copy this command chmod 400 and then aws geo dot pem. This will add the, the key and then I can simply copy the SSH command. Since I'm on Mac, I can do that directly in my terminal, but feel free to use any other SSH uh, manager that you want. I will continue. And there we go. Now I am inside my machine, the Ubuntu machine that I have created. And now what we can do is make sure that first we are uh, using the root. So sudo dash u root dash i. And now we will first do sudo apt get update. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to check the Java. So do we have Java installed and is it the correct version that we want? And since we don't have Java installed, we can simply copy these commands and install the Java. So it is sudo apt get install 
ओपन जे डी के एट जे डी के एंड देन ओपन जे डी के एट जे आर ई वी विल ऑल्सो इंस्टॉल ओपन जे डी के एट जे आर ई सो आई विल सिंपली कॉपी एट पेस्ट इट हियर सूडो एप्ट गेट इंस्टॉल ओपन जे डी के एट जे आर ई and it's done now if i check my java version again we do have a java environment so that's a good sign now for the postgres we will keep it as last and let's head over to the geo server now uh, usually when we install geo server on mac windows or linux we go to the geo server's website and then we look for the stable version which is available so in our case it is 2.19.0 and then we simply click on this the problem in this uh, scenario is that we don't have the access to the GUI. So we will have to use wget. So I will simply cancel this and I will head back to the terminal. And before downloading, we will first create a folder where we want to keep our geo server. So head over to user share and then create a directory geo server new or maybe just geo server that will work and then cd into the directory and now we can do wget and then put the sourceforge.net link without the download in the end so i will simply copy this link and i will paste it here and if i click ok you can see that it is connecting and now it will start the downloading and that is how the bin is downloaded in the terminal Now that geo server bin is downloaded, we can check it by doing ls. Now we'll have to unzip this zip in order to access all the folders. So I will install the sudo apt get install unzip. And I will unzip the geo server. And now if I check the folder now we have all the folders all the data directory that we need now the last thing that we need to do is we need to set up the environment variable so i will simply copy this commands and i will paste it here and finally i will make sure that the uh, owner is the current user so in order to do that i will have to change the uh, username to root and we are done now we can go to the bin and do sh startup dot sh and this will spin up the geo server in order to access the geo server we will use the public ip address that we have And now it is started, so we can head over to the IP colon eight zero eight zero slash geo server, and there we go. If I put admin and geo server, I can access the geo server hosted on Ubuntu instance. 